In this video, I'm going to talk about the new database updates to Notion. Now, I've recently finished writing a book all about Notion, from how you download the app, how you sign up to the app, and then how you use nested formulas all together with relations, rollups, and all that sort of stuff. And I'm going to use that workspace as an example to show you all of these new features that Notion have brought to databases. So as we go over to my screen, you can see I have actually finished all of these different headings, but I've moved one over so you can see how it worked functionally. Now in this space, this is all we can see. I have changed this because of the new features. We've got the two main databases. These are the only databases in this space. We've got the sections database, which goes over the parts of the book, the headings and the chapters. Then I have example tasks. Now my personal use, I will do another video on the channel about this, but I actually use something else for my tasks. But in Notion, you can have a Notion task database database if that's where all your tasks are. So this is an example database. Now when we come down into this view you can see there's no heading and that's the first feature, <laughs> the first feature I'm going to mention anyway. You can actually hide the headings. So when we go to the three dots we will see a different menu. Here we've got the name of the database, which uh, we've got the name of the view, which is main board. So you can see that here. This is a different view. So if I go into the chapters view, this will change to chapters. We then have the source data, which I will go through in a minute. We've got the layout. Now this is where we can check uh, where we can change the different views. So we've got table, board, timeline, etc. But when we come down, you can see show database title. So if I tick that on, you can see this is a linked database of the sections database. So this is the main database, and this is a linked version but I'm going to hide that because I don't want to see that all the time there's the card preview settings card size group by and then the color columns and when you go into the different views all of those view related so layout related options and settings are in here if I come back we can see all of the other options that we would normally see in the three drop down a three dot drop down menu are now here so we've got one property shown one property in this database so I come into here you can see all of the properties in the database because because uh, I've got some formulas and I've got some rollups and relations in here. I've actually hidden most of these, but these are all the properties and I'm only showing name. I can show I can show all, I can hide all. So all of the settings that you would be previously familiar with, they're still here. They're just located in a drop down of the properties menu. Filters, there's a different icon, which I, I, I don't know whether I like it. I mean, it's, it's the, the filter icon from almost every other app, but they've changed that as well. So we've got the filters here, which you can actually see up here. And this is something else that they've changed. So they've changed what filter, how filters work. So these are called quick filters. So if I click out very quickly, you can see this isn't filtered for anything at the moment. Uh, I, uh, I have it date within so this is the drop down for this filter property it's up here right at the top I, I didn't see that to start with but yeah it's right at the top then if I click on any of these dates so let's say today it's now going to filter for date within this and this and wherever so if I uh, turn that off and come into here and go down to there you can see oh anything between the 4th and the 26th is now being seen which is create an account which you can see is here this is another linked view of the sections database. So it's showing just this one uh, section. Now, what is it? Is it a section? Is it a chapter? Is it a heading? I can then have a look and see, okay, um, I think that's a chapter. Yes, it is. So I'm now looking for a chapter. Now you can see these orange dots at the top, and that is because I've, I haven't saved the filters. This is just a quick filter that I've had a look at. Now I can either save it for everyone, so it's a global save, just like you would have done previously, or if I click on the drop down menu, I've got save as new view, which is the save for everyone, or I can merge it into an advanced filter. So I can merge these two things together into an advanced filter. Now I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset and that's got rid of those filters I've just added, but has, and has gone back to these quick filters to add a quick filter, add a filter, uh, let's say add number. Actually, no, let's, let's do it a different way. Let's go add a filter and I'm going to search for ID. Uh, let's go ID number. Now let's go three dots and delete that filter. So we've got the orange dot and that is what's being changed. I can save for everyone and that's now going to save the ID number as a quick filter. I can then click on that and then filter for whatever I want. There is the there is the option there. So we've got equals, less than, greater than, etc, etc, because it's a number property. So you still get all of those those features. Go to three dots, delete the filter. Now, because I've deleted the filter, it's going to ask, do you want to save it? Yes, I do want to save it. And now it's gone. Hopefully that makes sense. That is the filters. Then the sorts work in the same way. So if I click on filter, it hides a quick filter. If I click on sort, I don't have a sort. So I need to add a sort. Uh, let's sort by date. 
you can see it's now got an up arrow for ascending and then when I go to descending it's got a down arrow which I think is quite nice because you can see it straight away um, and again woohoo click the wrong button love that uh, and again I have the save for everyone so I can save the sort with the filters you may be able to see there is a line between it so sorts go first then filters so I can save it for everyone or I can just reset it now in this case I'm going to save it for everyone and when I go into this sections database uh, and then I go to sort I actually already have a sort in here now I mentioned earlier in the three dot menu that there is a, another option up here. This is a main database. This is the sections database. This is the, the first database I created. And we've only got the layout option here. When, however, I go into this view, so this is the linked database, remember, I have a source. And the reason this is different is because this source is the sections database. If I go to another view, so I go to the chapters of the book, uh, I've got my chapter number, so this is a table view, you can see the different icon. Uh, I've got the chapter number, which is a formula property, I've got the name, the ID, part, which is a relation property, and then a formula for the progress, two out of three, because I haven't done this one. Uh, but when I go all the way across, this is again, sections database, I'm showing that one, and I come across here, this is the example database. So I'm in a linked database view, but I have source data from a different database. If I go into the three dot menu, you can see example task database. So I'm using a linked view from two different databases in one uh, linked view here. Hopefully that makes sense. So the headings is from the sections database. The tasks is from the example database. Previously, you'd need to have them as other views. So I'd have a, another view down here, which is how it was set up. So all of these views that I've just gone through were set up like one below the other, but now you can have them all in the same view up here, which is very, very nice. I think anyway, uh, let's carry on going through. So the group options, we've still got all the grouping options. They are still there. Um, and the load limit is also down in this drop down menu alongside the group view. And when we go back to the main board and go to the three dot menu, you can see there's the subgroup view. So depending on the view you pick, we'll change the, the options that appear up here. So going through how this template actually differs now that I have the ability to do these things, well, when I'm writing on something, it will be in the to write section, which is a select property. And when I start writing, I will drag it over. Now, with this specific chapter, I can click in and I can see, actually, I have loads of tasks. Now, previously, I didn't do this in Notion because I was using something else. I was using Todoist. Now I use Morgan, but I have the tasks in here. So paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three. Now. I would have had to have scrolled down to find that or I would have had to click into the view and try and find that view, but it's not this database, so it would have to be a view down the bottom. Now I can go straight to tasks and say, yes, I've done that. Yes, I've done that. Yes, I've done that. Again, I can add some filters in. I can hide this view, so let's hide the database title. Uh, so I can add filters, make them disappear, add all of the things that I have in the other spaces. But now that I've done that, I can do it all in one view. I can see it in here. I can feed it through. And then once I've finished it, I can drag it over to finished. Now it's disappeared off of this view because this is filtered for to write. So if it's not to write, then it's not going to be there. So if I drag something over now, let's drag it there. This is actually now changed to the to write because of the filter in here. That's the auto filter feature. So if I, if I scroll across, you can see link databases is now to write because of the auto filter in the in this filtered view, which is why I have them next to one another. So when I was moving them across, I could see what I needed to work on in this calendar view. Then I would go to my tasks, which were in Todoist or Morgan, but you could do this in here now. You can actually just go, oh yeah, there are all the tasks. I can filter for this relation. I can add another view. This does add a, a, a more section because you'd then end up scrolling across, but there's the source. I can pick because it's the link database, which database I want to uh, grab the data from. Then I can choose the view. So let's go to a calendar view. It's there. List view. So in the calendar, you've got the calendar by setting there. List view, only the the title, the, the, title, the database title uh, is showing. The gallery, you have card preview, card size, fit image, timeline, all the, all the settings that you would expect all appear in the layout section. Hopefully that's covered everything. And if you do have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. Now, of course, because these updates have been done and released after I've written the book, they aren't included in the book and the same with all the future updates, but everything that's been done previously, all the formulas, relations, roll-ups, everything like that is all in the book, which you can find a link in the description below.